Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here with 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball HTA Choice Editions. Just, just autographs in this one. Pick your team number nine. A very big thanks to this group right here for getting in on it. Here on Tuesday the 29th, pick your team nine. If you got a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the filler. Ed, you ended up with last spot mojo before I pulled those teams for that filler. There's everybody else right there. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. All right, let's see what we got. We've done a lot of these. Uh, I've done a, a few of these HTA breaks in the last couple days. Um, I wonder... Are we due for a train whistle hit? I don't think, I think in hobby, the hobby cases, we've seen some train whistles. But in the HTAs, I have not. Out of fives and under, train whistle, of course. Good luck, everybody. B.J. Murray Jr., 66 out of 75. Cubs, Ramon with the Cubs. And then we got Ricardo Cabrera for the Reds. That'll be for Mark. And the Red Legs, rated number three prospect on Baseball America's 2022 International Board. And there's Brady House. Take it to the house. That's going to be Sean Maddock in the Nationals. Number 54 overall prospect in all of baseball. According to MLB.com, that's pretty good. All right, nice start. Next box. Got Warriors at Mavericks on TNT. That's kind of what my eyes are darting to right there. Mavs up 75 to 69. All right, 220 out of 299, Christian Franklin. Ramon with the Cubs, speckle autograph. I like that parallel. Number 21 prospect in the Cubs organization. We got Roderick Arias, nice one for the Yankees. It'll be from Matt Smith. Got the Bronx Bombers straight up. Nice one of the bigger names for the Yankees. And we got Antonio Pinheiro, 41 out of 100, Atomic autograph for the Brew Crew. Tim with the Brewers. All right, another one. And we got another Bowman Chrome HTA case that's part of the promo. 
And that's down to 10 teams. Maybe we can run that back tonight. All right, we got BJ Murray Jr. Refractor this time, 62 out of 499. Ramon, Cubs. Strong arm defender, we like to see that. Two brothers who played pro ball, Red Lobster enthusiast. All right. We got Tanner McDougal, Jason with the White Sox. There you go. Fan 40% of the batters he faced in the Arizona Complex League. Huh? And got some orange shimmer. That's really pops. 21 out of 25. Cameron Colley. Rangers. Chris with Texas. Number 16, Rangers prospect. Organizational prospect. Yes. So far, so good for the Cubs. Now, just as a rule of thumb, if you're new to this Bowman... These are prospects, right? So I know there are some, some names that are more immediately popular than, than other names, but it's worth keeping all these players and just sticking them in a drawer or a shoe box somewhere and then check in on these players later on and then see where they're at in a few years. There's Brandel uh, Misquita, 103 out of 150. Number 29 Braves prospect. That's from Matt Smith and the Braves. We got Won Bin Cho. That's for Chris and the Cardinals. I think he's a, yeah, he's from Korea. Korean player here. One of 12 Cardinals international signings. Long, lanky athlete, five tool possibilities. Let's see how he works out. Next is Emmanuel Valdez, Astros. That's going to be for Mark, the Astros. Their organization all-star. Topped Astros organization homers and RBIs. Nice. Let's Purple Chrome autograph to lead things off, and that's Michael Hernandez, 165 out of 250. O's, Steve Birch with the Orioles. Number 11, Orioles prospect according to Baseball America. Next up is Daniel McElveny. McElveny? 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 That goes to Wade and the Red Sox. From Chula Vista in the San Diego area. Six rounder. And next is Adrian Chigesti. That's for Jordan and the Giants. Number 26 Giants prospect, according to Baseball America. Up, Bill, Bill Mosher saying, was Trout a big name in the hobby in 2011? I think hey, so. See you, Michael. How are you going? See ya. I want to say yes. He was hyped, but then kind of got unhyped because he, he actually fell down the draft board. He fell down the draft board a lot, but I would imagine he would still be one of the, one of the chases of that at that time. A 
of course, he, uh, he quickly proved himself. There's Emmanuel Valdez again, 109 out of 250, purple chrome autograph for Mark and the Strohs. There's Yerlin Confidant for the Red Legs. It'll be for Mark. Number 29, Reds Prospect. And we got Antonio Pinheiro, Brew Crew. It'll be for Tim and the Brewers. All right. Halfway through this 12 box break, another six to go, about another 10 or so minutes to go in this one. He wasn't, remember that breaker who pulled his gold out, what, back in 2011? Threw it aside, he said, never heard of him, he must not be a baseball fan. And that's just one guy. <laughs> There's Andy Thomas, 43 out of 99. That'll be for Sean Maddock and the Mariners. We've got Jorge Barrosa, 31 out of 150. Diego with the Snakes. Nice parallel there. Number 29 prospect in the Diamondback system. And there's Roiland Mashandi. Man. It was back in late 2010. This is why we'll never speak ill of any prospect <laughs> in Bowman stuff. There's Reed Trimble, 259 out of two out of $4.99 refractor autograph for the Orioles. That'll be for C. Birch. There's Andy Thomas. Mariner's autograph. That'll be for Sean Maddox. San Diego guy. And we got a Nathan Hickey, 15 out of 100. Atomic parallel for Wade and the Red Sox. Got the Red Sox straight up. Thanks, Wade. Fifth round pick. All right, next one. Got Drew Baker, 269 out of 499. The Butcher, the Baker, the Candlestick Maker, EA with the Rays. You have a fourth round pick. That's right, Mike Tower. That's an atomic hickey. It would be, would be pretty painful, I think. There's Jordani De Los Santos for the Pirates, Mark. Rated number 12 prospect in the 2022 international signing class. 
And green, Atomic, 21 out of 99, Samuel Zavala. Mark B with the Padres. Mark N had the Pirates. Mark B with the Padres, number 17 in the Padres system. Yeah, very nice card for the Potter. Number 17 in the system. If you're anywhere in that top 30, you know, that's kind of where you want your prospects to be. We got, ooh, nice. Jackson Curio, 89 out of 299. His brother Jason. Is with Cleveland, Jackson with the Brewers, Tim with the Brew Crew. Number 17, Brewers Prospect. Getting getting some hype lately, too. For the Dodgers, Samuel, uh, Samuel Munoz. That's going to go to Mark N and my Dodgers. Number six prospect in the 2022 international class. And the third hit, third auto, is going to be Jose Rodriguez for the Rangers. That's going to be for Chris. Um, was 2.2 years younger than the average low-A East player in 2021. That's what they say in sports, right? When you're when you're playing against people, always always try to play with people that are. Uh, Older, more experienced than you. It's the fastest way to get better. All right, first one out of the gate here. It's for the Braves. That's Brandall Mesquita. 281 at 299, Speckle Auto for Matt Smith and the Braves. Number 29, Braves prospect in that organization. Willie Vasquez, Rays. It's going to be for EA. The number 10 prospect in the Rays system, according to Baseball America. And then we got Michael Burrows. It's Mark N with the Pirates. Number 14 prospect in the Pirates organization. Which, I mean, which is pretty good, I think, considering I feel like Pirates have a pretty decent farm system, so if you're number 14 in a good farm system. Last three autographs, Alex De Jesus, 46 out of 99. Mark N with my Dodgers. Rated as the number 21 Dodgers prospect according to MLB.com. We got Daniel Vasquez, Royals, David with Daniel. Number 19, Royals prospect. Might have to move off that position, though. 
And last one is Simon Muziati for the Phillies. That's going to be for uh, Su Young. Number 11, Phillies prospect Su Young. And there you go, gang. Another nice HTA break in the books. I know it's a quick break, but so many hits, it's worth taking another look at it. A lot of nice color, a lot of nice ink. Is it just me, or is the uh, overall, I mean, there, there are some weak ones, but overall, does the penmanship seem pretty good in this this set? I mean, you're always going to have some clunkers, but I think overall, we're seeing some nice penmanship here. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe. Thanks very much for getting in. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.